What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be doing an oil change. Um you know, so this is stuff that you gotta you gotta have. Um I have a what is this called? Hydraulic jack. Um I have some yeah, it makes life a lot easier. Uh, you can use the scissor jacks. You can use that to prop up the car to go underneath. If you want to die, you can use those. I don't recommend it. So just get some jack stands. Don't be cheap. Um, so if you want to die, yeah, you can use the stock scissor jacks. But buy some jack stands. Um, just an oil pan. You know your funnel and 5W20. I use full synthetic because I don't want my motor to blow up. Even though it's a K20A3, and I have a filter in there so let's go ahead and do this I don't think you guys really need to um, see it but if you do let me know in the comments and I can just go over for you if you really are dying to know so let's go ahead and do this all right so we got on jack stands both sides, so we can go ahead and do this. You know, I wasn't gonna show you anything, but I might just make this a separate video. So again, add W1 oil cash can, get a lot of comments about that. Uh, please let your engine cool down. Um, I burned myself a couple times because I was impatient and in a rush. It just makes things a lot more comfortable. And so, um, first thing you want to do is to probably drain it um, there is some back pressure I know this is just a myth or whatever um, I would unscrew this um, oil fill just to drain it and so at least down there so that no contaminants get in but as you can see my oil is very dirty I'm not sure if you can see that but it's very dirty so you'll see when it drains out um, the drain bolts underneath so I'll show you which size you need Alright, so first try, it's a 17. I'll show you guys what it looks like down there. Um, again, having a drag stand makes things so much easier because it can go a lot higher than those scissor. It can go a lot higher than those scissor jacks and it's a lot safer. So, alright, so it's a 17 millimeter. And so this is the drain bolt, um, just loosen it and have a pan underneath, which I don't even have right now, and let it drain out. So um, you'll see the next clip. All right, so make sure to not lose this washer. It's a crush washer, not just any washer. I mean, it allows it not to leak. So if you don't have the proper washer, it's gonna leak. So you need to buy a new one of these you need to buy a new one of these each time. So make sure to pick up one of those while you pick up your filter. And so, as you can see, it's still draining out a little bit. So um, we just, I'll show you the oil that you need to get, and then we can start filling it up. It's that easy. Um, the next thing we need to do before we fill it up though is to replace the oil filter. It's in a tighter spot, so I'll show you guys where it is. So just put the oil filter back on. Um, put the all right I'm gonna go ahead and put the new oil filter in and then um, put the drain bolt back in tighten it up and we're good make sure to just hi hand tighten your um, oil filters, you don't need to over tighten it, just hand tighten it and it'll tighten over time. And if you guys don't believe me, I literally just took off the old one and I hand tightened it and it was pretty tight, so no leaks or anything. So let's go ahead and do this and we can start filling it up and you guys will be done. Super easy job, especially on these Hondas, so let's go. Alright, so what a lot of people do is they inspect the oil 
for any metal shavings or anything like that. Um, my engine's pretty healthy, so I would. Now all we gotta do once you put, hand tighten the oil filter on and um, tighten down the drain pull with your new oil um, drain with your new crush washer. Then we can start adding in the new oil. So let's go ahead and fill it up and I'll show you guys how to do that. Sorry, we're back on the phone camera. Um, my nice camera memory card is full. So first, next thing you want to do is look at your oil and see um, how much you have. And then according to that, um, you should fill it up. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, we are officially done. You guys did a great job if you guys did it with me. Um, you're done with the oil change. Now go ahead. And hit some VTech guys. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please like and comment this video. Share it with some people that need the help. And thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. And let your passion drive you.